Hello everyone, uh, this is Base16, uh, we're going to talk about setting up a Mongo uh, DB uh, for our part server. So in the part one we have created our part server at a digital ocean droplet, uh, but we aren't able to start uh, run uh, our part server uh, because we didn't configure it the Mongo DB. For example, npm starts it gives some errors about MongoDB. So, while using parse server, you have to have a MongoDB database. So, I'm going to use MLab at this point. Uh, it gives some uh, free database services. Uh, of, of course, they are uh, just sandbox. Uh, not for uh, production softwares, uh, but you can create, you can use uh, these kind of uh, databases while uh, you are working. Okay, so I have to verify my email address to create a database. So I did that, and you can see where. Have a, we have a username and uh, account here, so but we don't have any MongoDB database. So if you got, if you have a ba any backup of your uh, MongoDB database, you can create your. I'm going to create new. At this point, it's going to ask uh, you to choose some of the selections. So I'm going to choose and go with the sand sandbox. It's free and MongoDB tree. I don't have any choice. So, what should we give? Parse tutorial DB. It's free. So, it's, let's wait while it's creating. So, now we have our uh, MongoDB database. As you can see, there's no collection, uh, there's no system collection, no users, no, some stats, and it's uh, generally empty. Uh, I'm going to create a user here. Uh, parse Mongo user. One, two, three, one, two, three. Create. So I don't recommend you to use one, two, three as a password here, of course. This is just demonstration purposes. And we have a user here. Now, uh, we're going to connect uh, to our database from this server, but how? So parse while uh, using parse server, uh, it's going to collect this kind of information from uh, your bash variables. So as you can see over here, these are the variables you have to set up. Now, I'm going to use this database URI. Okay, so uh, there is an LSLA, it's our root direction. Uh, there's a bash RC file. So, this is our bash configuration file. We can edit this file to uh, set these variables when we restart. You can set variables like this export and variable name equals something that you want to set. So this is now a variable. Variable name is ASDAS, right? But this is uh, not permanent. When you restart or uh, reboot your system, it's going to vanish. So I'm going to make it uh, stay, or when, when, when I recover my uh, soft surf service, the server, it's going to stay. So uh, for do, to do this, I'm going to write these lines of code at my bash rc file, because it's going to stay and every time bash started, it's going to run automatically. Bash RC. Okay, now 
maybe this, this looks better. I'm going to add these lines at the end of this file. So export data base URI, URI equals. So what is my database URI? Let me show you in a text editor. Let's make it. Let's make it a bigger font. Okay. Now, how do we know what is our database UI? As you can see, there is a. Uh, a database URI uh, giving by MongoDB. We are going to use it, but there is some changes we need to make before using it. So MongoDB DB user. So this is basically the username that we have created. It's Mongo Pars. Mongo user and DB password which is one two three. So this is our database URI. We need to set it in our server. Can I paste? Okay. Now we uh, defined our database URI. Uh, you would like to define an app ID also. It's you are going to use it in the future app ID it's you can just enter any random text without any just unicode characters uh, you, you you just use unicode Ex export and I'm going to enter my master key master key you can define this randomly also. Right, let's add some number. And that's it. So I'm going to save this. successfully save this so let's try to run our server again let's see what's going to happen parse server npm start so there are some problems okay so it didn't work because we didn't restart our computer so the, defini uh, the definitions we make didn't uh, get didn't uh, active right now, so I'm going to reboot my server. Let's wait a little while it's starting. Uh, it's up again. So tr let's try again. Parse server npm start npm start now as you can see our parse server is running on port uh, 13 38 37 so that's it that's it we are running our parse server right now with a database and that's it for today i'm, I'm going to talk about uh, using the parse uh, dashboard with uh, this database th with this server and connecting it uh, connecting to it from your uh, Android server Android uh, client or application and thank you thank you for watching uh, please hit subscribe button if you liked this video I'm going to continue about uh, tutorials for parse uh, thank you.